Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Hattie and this is a channel all about my sewing adventures and misadventures. Today it is my turn to talk you through some of the patterns that I found that I think would be great for this challenge. It's hosted over on Instagram by Sam and Ruan from Frugalisma and the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And this year is a little bit different from other years because this year they have opened it up to all handmade garments, whereas previously it was frugal frocks. So this year you get to choose any kind of garment pattern. It has to be a free pattern and you have to make it from fabric from your stash which if you're like me and you're trying to watch the pennies at the moment, then it's a great way to get into shopping your own stash, maybe using some material that you've had sitting around for a really long time. And it also means that you get to try out some smaller pattern brands and more indie patterns. I just want to preface, preface? Hmm. I just want to start this video by full disclaimer, uh, I have just come down with COVID and I'm just coming out the other side of it. So if my voice sounds stupid, or if I suddenly lose my train of thought, or if I look horrific, then, uh, oh, COVID finally got me. Uh, I'm still recovering, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss my deadline for this video. So I thought I'd film it today while I've got a little bit of free time from work. There were a whopping 70 of us this year that wanted to film videos for you all with inspiration. So make sure you check out all of those, but especially make sure you check out yesterday's videos by the French Seams and Raining Cats and Bobbins, which is a fantastic name for a YouTube channel. Like, ah, uh, I love it, it's so cool. And also make sure you head on over to So So Mad, who is my joint video day buddy for the 19th. So they are also uploading a video for you today. And then tomorrow you've got Lost My Thread and the social thread. Social, social thread. I have loved looking through this list because honestly, the uh, amount of incredible YouTube names is just fantastic um, and it's been really nice to see so many people wanting to take part and really inspired me as well to get back my sojo. So without, so, without further ado, my video. Um, this year I have been looking through my stash and I don't really have any fabrics that um, I don't already have plans for that aren't kind of fat quarters and things. So I had a package in my fabric stash that has inspired this video, which is going to be five patterns you can make with a double duvet size amount of fabric. I recently moved into my own place and before I even moved in, I purchased this thinking that this would be the colors that I would do my bedroom in. It's not, and I also bought a king size bed. So this has been sat there for the best part of a year, just kind of waiting to be used. And I thought, do you know what? Loads of us have bed sheets just knocking around in the cupboards that we love the material for, but we don't ever put them on the beds, either because our room deco has changed, our style has changed, we've got partners who don't like them anymore. Like, there are so many reasons. And so I thought, why not waste not want not and have a look for some patterns that you can make with a duvet cover. So this is a double duvet, so it's about two and a half. Oh, ow. Um, it is about two and a half meters by 2.2 meters. It's 2.4 by 2.2. Yeah, that's right. 2.4 by 2.2, and then obviously um, it's double-sided, so you get double that. We're basically going by 2.2 by 2.2. Um, and yeah, so hopefully this will give you some inspiration of things that you can make. First up from Fabrics Dash Store is the Celine Jumpsuit. Now this is really cool. Their entire website, all you have to do is sign up to their newsletter and then you get access to so many free patterns but there were a couple of their overalls and jumpsuits on there that are made to be made out of linen and they are just beautiful. I've not made any of them yet, but this is a high contender for what I'm going to use my duvet cover for. So the Celine is a faux wrap jumpsuit. It's got an elasticated waist and it has a cropped leg version, which I think will be really cute and you can definitely make out of a double sized duvet cover. 
I just think this would look really cute and airy for summertime and then if you wore it with maybe like a roll neck underneath and chunky boots then you could probably transition it into autumn as well um, depending on what fabric you make it from. So to print these off it's a little bit tricky so they don't have A0 uh, print shop versions it's all done on A4 so you do have to print them out yourself um, and all you have to do is open the files in Acrobat Reader and then on the Layers tab you'll be able to see all of the different sizes. Um, so I've worked out that with a double duvet you can make up to their size 16 and 18. Um, their sizes are vaguely inclusive. Obviously I fall right in slap bang in the middle of a lot of pattern company sizes so I'm very very fortunate. Uh, they do have seem to have quite a lot of range on their site. Um, so I'd be interested to know if you have made any of their patterns, if they are inclusive, and what you think of them. But the Celine wrap jumpsuit is one of my top contenders so far. I just think it's going to look really classic, and I love that it's an elasticated waist. It looks like it will be a really nice, simple pattern to follow as well. So yeah, very much looking forward to that one. Next, from Pearl Soho. So I think this counts as a frugal garment because you do technically wear it and that is the Pearl Soho cross back apron. So I just thought that for sewing, for baking, if you paint, then this would be a really cool thing to make. I think it looks really, really classic. It looks really uh, kind of sophisticated. I know a lot of the aprons are very Kath Kidson style, like tie at the shoulders, cute little bows, whereas this is a lot more industrial. Uh, my job is a very physical and then on a Friday we do a lot of maintenance so it's a lot of painting and fixing and things and I just think that a apron like this would be really good for that. It's a really simple apron, it's got pockets and the best part is that you wouldn't even need to use any paper to make this because the pattern is purely made out of rectangles that give you all of the dimensions for them and then you can just use your rotary cutter and cut out your material directly. So that's a really great way if you want to look after the environment, if you think it's a pattern you're only going to make once, then you wouldn't necessarily need to waste paper and ink and energy on printing out a pattern, which I thought was really cool. I thought this would be a really interesting take on the So Frugal Challenge. Next, a freebie from one of my absolute favourite pattern companies is Megan Nielsen Patterns, and they have access, if you sign up to their newsletter, you get access to a couple of free patterns and add-ons as well for their purchasables but one of their free patterns is the Veronica skirt. So the Veronica skirt is a really simple high-waisted skirt. You have two different options so you can either make it from a knit or a woven fabric and option B is what you would want to use for a duvet cover which is the woven and it's got really pretty scallop pockets as well. It looks like a really simple make and um, Megan Nielsen their patterns fit really nicely they're really well thought out. I mean, you still have 12 days left, but if you find yourself with a spare hour and you want to take part in the challenge, this would be a really quick, simple pattern to make. Next, we have another jumpsuit, and that is the Phoebe jumpsuit from Makerist. So this is another one where if you sign up to their email list, then you get a free pattern. And this has so many iterations and so many hacks. You can make it as just a top, you can make it as trousers, you can make it as a full jumpsuit. You can have it tied and it, the whole point of this pattern from them is that you can really, it's very versatile, you can make it exactly how you want and you get all of the components to be able to do that and they brand themselves with this pattern as the most versatile PDF pattern you'll ever own and it's free. So there's loads of stuff you can use, it's made with purely woven fabrics and also a little bit of elastic but it's really cool, I think it would look really nice again for summer. Um, and in this really fun jazzy print or actually if you have a plain bed sheet then this is one that the pattern is so intricate and detailed and has so much going on that you could really just use a plain like white bed sheet and it would look elegant. So this is a really fun one if you want to play around with it a bit and if you've got a little bit more time in your hands to enter the challenge. Last but not least is the Selena romper from So So Easy. So So Easy? So So Easy. Ooh, try saying that many a times. It's the Selena romper from So So Easy and this very much reminded me of something that I would have bought from H&M when I was traveling because it's light, it's floaty, 
it's nicely fitted and it's elasticated at the waist so even when you go out for multiple cocktails it's still gonna fit beautifully and I just thought in this material it would look really fun and jazzy it's got like a waterfall top I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's like a waterfall top I don't know if that's the technical term waterfall top uh, elasticated waist and then some basic shorts obviously you could then elongate those to make them into trousers if you wanted but I just thought it would be a really simple one for the summer months if you're going away on holiday maybe to just throw one over the top of a bikini um, and from the looks of the instructions it looks like a very simple make as well so there we have it I really wanted to just give you some really clear concise ideas um, especially because I know that it can be super overwhelming there are 70 YouTube videos to watch there is a whole host of free patterns online and these are just a few of the things that I'm contemplating making with my IKEA duvet cover I really hope that you've enjoyed this. Make sure you watch everyone else's videos. Go and give a whole load of love to Sam and Ruan. Again, Frugalisma and the Yorkshire So... Oh gosh, I cannot say it. The Yorkshire So Girl. Because they set up this challenge. They've been hosting it for ages. And it's just so much fun. So go and show them some love. And also make sure that you hashtag SoFrugal22 on the 31st of March. I for one cannot wait to sit there on the 31st of March and spend my entire day just scrolling through my Instagram feed, seeing all of the amazing things that people have made. Um, if you are inspired by anything that I've suggested in this video, or if you end up making something out of your duvet cover, um, then please let me know. I would absolutely love to see it and I cannot wait to see everyone's results. Make sure you head over to So So Mad YouTube channel and check out her video as well. And then tomorrow you've got Lost My Thread and The Social Thread. I'll make sure all of their channels are linked down below. For now, make sure you subscribe to mine, hit that thumbs up button, follow me over on Instagram and leave me a comment if you like what you've seen. As for my next video, I have been off recently. I have had COVID and my work um, have made us take the 10 days, which my goodness I needed. I am still not 100% and it's been a good two weeks since I first tested positive. But during that time, um, I have been sewing bits here and there. So I'm just going to do a sewing COVID roundup. Uh, if you see in Canto, every time I say that, I'm thinking, <laughs> you know why? It's time for the grandkid roundup, grandkid roundup. But in sewing, sewing roundup, sewing roundup. See, it works. Anyway, ooh, that will be up for you shortly. I hope you have a fantastic day. Okay, talk to you all soon. Bye. Weird wave.